Ohio University football had a chance to control and dominate over Eastern Michigan. They did control. They did dominate Eastern Michigan to win in week nine of the season. 45-14, to 14, the final score. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Rob Cornelius is alongside. Welcome to our Peden Stadium broadcast booth. Yes, Rob C., it was a good one to have. Get everything right, move past the Miami loss, and have a, what was a laugher at the end of it. No, yeah, really, you pulled away. The twos and threes got some time. A couple good drives in this thing. Exclamation point from Daz Patterson. But all the way through this game, from Tyler Tettleton to the backfield to Dante Foster, Ohio offense was in sync. Defense played a great second half. Yeah, Ohio was on top at halftime, 24-14. to 14. A lot of people might say, well, they beat a one-win team. That's not the whole story. Ohio wanted to control things. Ohio had the opportunity to really run the show offensively and defensively. It was the way they did it tonight that was so impressive. No, and it, it's, it's all it's all method. Not just getting the win. That was probably expected. You don't want to get ahead of, ahead of yourself, fans, but that was the key tonight. But for Ohio, you need to win in a certain way, make an example of a team, and get that 30-point win that your fans have been expecting all season. So it was the eighth highest offensive performance in Bobcat football history. It was the second best performance this year. Totally yardage Ohio really rang that board 559 total yards yeah 559 over 500 again and three of Ohio's top 10 offensive nights ever have come against Eastern Michigan this might have been a little expected and on the flip side in the day and age of eye-popping numbers Ohio held a division one team to 305 yards of total offense pretty impressive no that's a solid mark on what they did they kept the team that that runs the ball throws the ball a little all the way down at 300 302 is what leads this league in yards per game Ohio defense showed up just like second half last week of Miami Miami, a bunch of stops in a row. It was win eight overall. It was win four in Mid-American Conference play. Here's how it looked and sounded on a Thursday night at Peden Stadium. Third down and goal from the three on the right hash. Tettleton out of the shotgun, and he'll hand it off the blanket chip. Got to the left side edge, trying to turn. He's in there. Touchdown, Cats. Cats on top, 10-7. Double tight end set. Option to the left side. Tyler pulls it back. Settles up. Breaks it back over to the right side. Throws to the right side. End zone diving grab. Yes, touchdown, Cats. Trips left, wide out to the right, second and 10, ball at the 19. Back to pass, Tettleton zips it to the right side. Beautiful route. Foster caught it, shed a tackler, and walk into the end zone. This season, he is uh, 17 for 24. Two wide receivers left and a wide out to the right. First and 10, ball at the 21. Play fake, Tettleton zips it left side, caught by Dante Foster. Skirts forward to the right side through a tackle. 40 on his feet, 45, 50. Foot race on now. 30, near side 20, 15, 10, 5, 6 for the Cats. Second time tonight. Tettleton's out of the pistol. And they will hand it off to Boykin. Runs behind center <laughs> through a big hole and into the end zone. This one's done. Benz is under center, and it's a play fake. Quick drop, throws it over the middle of the field, deflected, and it's intercepted. It was deflected, and then Keith Moore on a dive, went down to make the play. Art Jordan wide left. Chris Johan wide left as well. Hand off, it's Daz Patterson through a hole to the left side, 20. Spins away from a tackler. Far sideline, 15, 10, 5, 6 for the Cats. Green icing on this victory cake. 1.33 to go. The Cats will be 8-1. It was a record-setting performance for Dante Foster. He said he never wore eye black before on the collegiate level. He used the old-school eye black tonight, uh, not the sticky kind that has the ability to write on there. He said he used it for the first time, and he'll use it every time now since uh, or after this one. His family was here, too. It was a big night for number three. Yeah, we might have to start doing that as well. 164 yards catching the ball, two scores, 79 yards, a season-long completion, one of the longest in recent Ohio history, going back to, I believe, 2004, ever to mail. Big night for him. Big night on the ground as well. Boykin and, and Blankenship combined for an even 200 yards. Yeah, it was good to see Tyler Tettleton bounce back from a tough end to the ball game against Miami. He's been so good as a Bobcat. He was really good again tonight. And then the ability defensively to cause havoc in the backfield and to cause some turnovers. Bunch of pressure, some sacks, cause one turnover, win with a sack. Ty Brands, I think, will get credit for a couple. But all in all, a good night. After this first quarter, Ohio really ratcheted up the defense and turned down Eastern Michigan's yard total. Yeah, we also hope for good things for Landon Smith, too. One of the star Bobcat receivers went down to injury in the contest. We certainly hope we see him healthy very soon. All right, next up, Bowling Green. It's senior night. It's another mid 
weeknight. There is no excuse not to have a packed Peden Stadium for what should be a very entertaining physical football game. Yeah, and you look at BG, number one in virtually every defensive category in this league, 15 points a game, right around 300 yards, two in the league in sacks. This is the first BG team with a good defense in a long time. This is going to be a great weeknight matchup. You bet. We'll see you next week, Rob. See you. All right. Ohio is now 8-1 and one on the season and 4-1 and one in Mid-American Conference play after a 45-14 to 14 win over Eastern Michigan. For Rob Cornelius and for Sean Fisher and the Bobcat TV crew, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Good night from Peden Stadium. This is Bobcat TV.